Good evening to you all. Good evening to you all. And you are welcome to our 2024 Youth Camp opening ceremony. We will take our congregational song and we'll take um, Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing. Tune my heart to sing thy praise. CGS 194. 194. We'll sing together. Go, come thou fount of every blessing, to my heart to sing thy grace. Streams of mercy never ceasing, call for song of loudest praise. Take me some and on your measure, song by flame. Jesus' name. Amen. 
we are inviting God the Son, God the Father, and God the Holy Spirit to witness our opening ceremony. And we are praying that He should grace our ceremony with more blessings. Amen. Today, the blessings are flowing. And if you are here today, count yourself blessed. This is the blessed moment. And each step of the way, all the programs line up from the prelude to the postlude, we are praying that God himself should bless everyone present here. Every song that will be sung here, every hymn that will mention here, it is proposed by God to bless you. So sing with all your heart and our Heavenly Father will bless you. May God bless us all. We will take our next hymn, hymn 675. Hymn 675. I am so glad that our Father in heaven tells of his love in the book he has given wonderful things in the bible i see this is the dearest that jesus loves me in fact jesus loves you in fact jesus loves all of us that's why he has brought us here to bless us jesus loved me jesus loves me jesus loves is in me we shall sing all the six verses sitting down and the six verse we shall sing standing to be led in the opening prayer. We take the tune from the organist. Shall be on our feet. Let's take from the beginning. I want us to be to be warm, okay? One, two, three, one, two, go. I am so glad that our Father in heaven tells of his love in the book he has given. Wonderful things in the Bible I say. This is the Jared that Jesus loves me. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves even me. Do I forget him and wonder away? Love me wherever I stray, but to his dear loving arms do I flee when I remember that Jesus loves me. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Let's take verse 6. Verse 6. Verse 6. In this assurance, I find Jesus first. Trust me in Jesus. I know I am blessed. Satan gets me from my soul out of me. When I just tell him that Jesus loves me, I am so glad that Jesus loves me. praise we give you the adoration father we thank you for everything father and we most especially thank you for your love father we are so grateful for this camp we are so grateful for the subject we are so grateful for the veil that you have brought to us oh lord it is something that we need on these days of our youth lord therefore we are praying god that you will come down and bless us oh lord that you will come down and bless this youth camp oh lord we don't want to go back home the same, oh Lord. We want to go back full world with all the blessings of the Lord. Neither do we want to go back empty handed We want all the blessings that you have for us, Lord. We want all the blessings that you have for us, oh Lord. We are praying, Father, those on their way coming, may you bring them safely. May you bring them safely. Those that are having one challenge or the other, go and solve that challenge so that they will be able to come and listen. Father, we know you answer our prayer. 
prayers. Father, we are praying that on this youth camp, you will come down and save everybody that needs salvation and satisfy anyone that needs sanctification and baptize everyone that needs baptism of the Holy Ghost and fire and come down and re anoint each one of us, oh Lord. Come down and strengthen us, oh Lord. Come down and let us be filled with the Holy Ghost and fire. Also, we are praying that if there is any sickness whatsoever that is going to make us weak so that we will not enjoy this youth camp, may you take it away. May you chase it away. May you heal everybody. Father, we are trusting you that this youth camp is really going to be a youth camp with a difference. Let it fill our hearts. Let it fill our soul. Let it fill our being so that we will know that yes, God is really, really making us valiant soldiers, valiant Christians. And at the end of it all, we will give you the praise. We will give you the adoration. We pray, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Good evening to you all. The response looks too cold. Good evening to you all. Right. Um, on behalf of the Youth Development Department and the entire Apostolic Faith Church, Ghana, I warmly welcome you all to our 2024 National Youth Camp with the theme, The Valiant. Can we say it together? The Valiant. The Valiant. Right, so there's a way we want to greet ourselves in this youth camp. When I say The Valiant, you respond by saying, I am a Christian soldier. Can we try that? Yeah. The valiant. I am a soldier. Let's do it one more time. The valiant. I am a soldier. The last one I can shake the roof off. The valiant. I am a soldier. May God bless you. May God make all of us here tonight valiant Christian youth in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We want to appreciate you all for making time to come for the opening ceremony, and we are so much happy to have you here. It's been almost a year since we left here after our last year's youth camp, and we thank God for bringing us once again. Um, as I speak to you now, some of our brethren are on their way. Let's pray and trust God to guide them safely on his eagle's wings and bring them safely so that together we can worship our God in the beauty of holiness. Um, we also want to re recognize our internet audience, especially those watching us outside of Ghana on um, different international time zones that are different from ours. We appreciate their time. There are a lot of people watching us now, and we trust that the blessings God has for us tonight, He will double DS and triple DS for them in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Um, for this program, for, for the next three days, we, we are on um, Apostolic Faith churchghana.org on our website you can visit that place on facebook we are on our apostolic faith church ghana on youtube apostolic faith church ghana headquarters and all our social media platforms god this year want to make all of us valiant people and for you to be a valiant soldier it means that you have to be part of the army of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is our army commander, and we are the soldiers, part of the army. Let me see my hands, those who want to enlist in Jesus' army. Let me see my hands. Right, put your hands down. Now, for you to be able to enlist yourself into the army of Jesus Christ, then first and foremost, you must, something. You must be part of that army. There is something you have to do for you to be part of that army. And so, the Bible enjoins us to put on the whole armor of God. Every soldier has a dress they wear. They have an attire they wear. And if you don't wear that attire, you cannot be part of any soldier or whatever. 
you must have an attire you wear, you must be clothed properly in the soldier's armor. Likewise, for Christians, we also have an armor we have to wear. Okay? And one of the first armor is the helmet of salvation. Let's say it together the helmet of salvation. And so, for you to be part of Jesus' army, you must have a helmet of salvation. What am I driving at? It means that you must be saved from a life of sin, without which you cannot be part of this army. And the blessings that are attached to this army, they are uncountable. It is a must for all of us seated here tonight to be part of that army. And so the requirement is that first and foremost, you must have the helmet of salvation. It is when you have that helmet of salvation, then you can be part of this army. And Jesus tonight is ready to give that helmet of salvation to every single youth here. Amen? Amen. If God helps you for you to get that helmet of salvation, that is allowing Jesus Christ to come into your heart, wash your heart, and residing inside of you. Jesus Christ now taking center stage, being the King of Kings and Lord of Lords in your heart. The next step is that you have to get the breastplate of righteousness. And that is sanctification. That is part of the things you have to wear, the things you have to get to be part of this army. And finally, you have to get yourself the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. All these are part of the armor. You have to have faith. Faith, have your loins get about with truth, your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel. All these are part of it. Have you ever seen a soldier without a gun before? Have you seen a soldier who has not protected him or herself before? It is not possible. You must have something to cover your head because in the battlefield, arrows can fly anywhere, bullets can fly anywhere. And if you are not properly guarded, if you are not properly secured, if you are not protected, ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you that you are exposing yourself to danger. So in this youth camp, God is saying that he wants to make you a soldier. He wants to make you a valiant soldier. He wants to make you strong in him. And for you to do that, you have to make sure before the end of this youth camp, you have to get this armor. As I just listed them, you must get them. And ladies and gentlemen, this armor, they are for your taking. Because God has, is rich in mercy, is rich in all these resources, and is willing to give to every one of us here. So may God please help us. Amen. Right, so um, let's have that in mind. Um, we want to listen to a goodwill message from our worker youth leader who wanted to be here but he also has other engagements, and for that reason, he has sent us a goodwill message. So we will listen to that, after which we are going to look at the work of the YDD, the Youth Development Department in retrospect. So last year, I want to look at the things we've been able to do. All these are in video forms. So as I sit down, the WCS will play for us the um, goodwill message from but that will be after which you will listen to the YDD in retrospect. After we do that, um, we will listen to a few testimonies with praises, with Bible verses that are encouraging. Then, Brother Isuman will come to walk us through the camp rules. There are rules in this camp. We want you all to be safe. We want you all to follow what we have laid up for you to follow. So that if you do something different, we can hold you responsible. And we don't want to be too hard on you, so he will walk us through some of the camp rules for us to be guided by them. After which, um, I'll come for the announcement. We'll listen to a special song, and we'll hear a chart from our overseer, which will lead us into prayer, and we'll end the opening ceremony. God bless you, and happy, have a happy time.
person, as a single person, as a married person, whatever you are, being brilliant, being sisters in Ghana at this time. We thank you for the privilege of the youth camp that you have. This very special youth camp. And to be honest, this youth camp is special because God wants to raise brilliant young men and young women in Ghana. And I'm pleased that I am joining you for this one at this time, do virtually. The theme of this camp is something special, something instructive for we as Christians and as young people. Being brilliant is the mindset, is a character that we must have if we must get to heaven, if we must succeed, either as a student, as an undergraduate, as a business person, as a career person, as a single person, as a married person, whatever you are, being brilliant, being determined, being resolute, that I will make it, that spirit, is what will make you succeed. That spirit is what will make you get to heaven. Watch out for the theme song this year. He who will brilliant be is one of my favorite songs. I, I, I pray that as you sing the camp anthem this year in Ghana, may it spoil you, may it revive you, may it be something reviving. Watch out as you sing those songs. I, 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 can, I can remember the words of those songs very well when you consistently follow the master. Just, just watch out for those songs and I know it will be a blessing, great, great blessing to you. Again, we are praying that the valiant spirit will pour upon you all this time at the IY at the, at the Ghana Youth Camp. May it be a blessing to you. May souls be connected to heaven. May you all be blessed by this wonderful camp. And I'm also believing by the grace of God, the thing the character in this lesson of the youth camp will also support you for excellence because like I said, this same spirit that you need to get to heaven, this same brilliant spirit is the same spirit that you need to succeed in life. The issue is, if you can succeed to be a Christian, the same qualities, characters that you have that will qualify you for heaven are the same qualities and characters you need to succeed in academics, in business, or in marriage. Check it out. And you will see that we are in the right place. I'm wishing you all the very best in this year's youth camp. Our prayers are with you. God bless your wonderful leader and the team that are working with him in Ghana and may it be a blessing. God bless you and have a fantastic youth camp.
thank God this evening, especially for his love for me. I want to thank him for his goodness upon my life. A sinner like me, he so much loved me that when I call upon him every time, he hears and answers my prayer. I left home alone, committing myself into God's hands. For years now, God has been taking good care of me. I can remember that I have promised him so many things that when he, he answers my prayer, I will do for him. And by God's grace, he has answered many of my prayers. Amen. All I'm asking of God is that he gives me that power to be able to commit to my promises. I, I, I also want to tell God that I was very stubborn, very, very stubborn. But by his precious grace and by his precious blood, he has saved me and cleansed me from all Amen. those attitudes. I want to tell God that he is so good to me. And I want to worship him to the end of time. thank God for bringing me to this gospel. God brought me in a wonderful way. God brought me to this gospel. As a sinner, when I came, God didn't leave me. When I confessed my sins, he forgave me my sins and saved my wretched soul from sin. After that, he sanctified me and baptized me with the Holy Ghost and fire. In fact, these three graces have helped me a lot. Uh, I thank God for everything that he has been doing for me, he supplies my needs. After my university education, uh, finding a job was very difficult. But when I came to Christ, this God has given me a job. 
this one, one, one thing God did for, for me this afternoon, me and the brethren that I brought this afternoon, when we were coming, we got to the station, we were seven in number. Then being the Easter season, there were a lot of people at the station, but we were not getting a car. So when we got there, I told the man, we are seven. And he said, no, because of the, the number of people there, he can't give us seven tickets at a go. He's giving to, he will give us two. And I said, no, I'm supposed to take all the seven people with me to a camp meeting. So we are supposed to go together. And he, he still resisted. So I just turned and I prayed. I said, God, I'm going to this man again. When I go, God, touch his heart. I went to him again. And I said, we need to go together. We are seven. We are going. Then this man just asked me, where is the money? I paid the money to him, and he gave me the ticket. I thank this God that every time that I pray, God answers my prayers. He has given us um, safe, journey mercies. He has brought us safely to this camp. And I pray that God will maintain me in the gospel. I want to run an endurance race to the end, so that at the end I will see him face to face. When you go down on your knees, please remember me in your prayers. All right, okay. involvement and spiritual development this report serves as a testament of our commitment to nurturing the talent passions and faith of our young people the youth development department ydd of the apostolic faith church is proud to present a comprehensive review of our activities undertaken throughout the year 2023 as an integral part of our church community the youth have been actively engaged in variety of initiatives aimed at personal growth, community involvement and spiritual development. This report serves as a testament of our commitment to nurturing the talent, passions and faith of our young people as well as an opportunity to reflect on our achievements, challenges and opportunities for growth. Through our collective effort, we strive to empower the next generation of leaders in store values of service and compassion and strengthen the bonds of fellowship within our church family. In January, the Youth Leaders Capacity Building event themed a living sacrifice brought together youth workers from across the country. The gathering centered on a deep dive into the concept of being a living sacrifice through engaging Bible studies. Participants also had the opportunity to gain insights from documentaries highlighting the lives of George Hughes and of notable figures within the church who exemplified sacrificial living. Additionally, the event included a review session focused on the importance of consecration as the key to receiving blessings from God. Through these activities, attendees were equipped with spiritual knowledge and practical tools. The Youth Development Department YDD of the Apostolic Faith Church is proud to present a comprehensive review of our activities undertaken throughout the year 2023. 
as an integral part of our church community the youth have been actively engaged in variety of initiatives aimed at personal growth community involvement and spiritual development this report serves as a testament of our commitment to nurturing the talent passions and faith of our young people as well as an opportunity to reflect on our achievements challenges and opportunities for growth through our collective effort we strive to empower the next generation of leaders the youth development department why in january the youth leaders capacity building events themed a living sacrifice brought together youth workers from across the country the gathering centered on a deep dive into the concept of being a living sacrifice through engaging Bible studies. Participants also had the opportunity to gain insights from documentaries highlighting the lives of George Hughes and of notable figures within the church who exemplified sacrificial living. Additionally, the event included a review session focused on the importance of consecration as the key to receiving blessings from God. Through these activities, attendees were equipped with spiritual knowledge and practical tools to further their dedication to living sacrificially and growing in faith. Throughout the entirety of February was declared a month-long National General Prayer Initiative. This concerted efforts brought together young people from across the nation in a unified mission to invoke the power of God through fervent and dedicated prayers. Participants engaged in daily prayer sessions seeking divine guidance, strength and blessings for themselves, the church and the nation at large. Through this collective spiritual endeavor, the youth demonstrated their commitment to deepening their connection with God and tapping into the transformative power of prayer to bring about positive change in their lives, the church, the nation and the world at large. In the last month of the first quarter of the year was the National Youth Camp themed exceedingly abundant which brought together youth from all corners of the country for a memorable 3D event. Packed with spirited activities, the camp fostered spiritual growth, fellowship and fun-filled experiences. Attendees engaged in enriching Bible studies, thought-provoking seminars, and interzonal quizzes that tested their knowledge and encouraged friendly competitions. The highlight of the camp was the electrifying music concert, which brought down the power of God through performances by the choir and orchestra. Through this dynamic gathering, youth members were uplifted, empowered, and equipped to pursue lives of abundance in faith and service. In the month of April was the celebration of Easter with fervor and joy. The Easter celebration included a variety of activities such as prayers, Bible studies and engaging events designed to commemorate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Through these spiritually enriching activities, young souls were inspired, uplifted and drawn closer to Christ. The Easter festivities also provided opportunity for fellowship, bonding and joyful participation, creating memorable experiences that strengthened the faith and commitment of youth within the church. Overall, the Easter celebration served as a beacon of hope, renewal and spiritual awakening resulting in transformation of many young lives for Christ. From June to August, the Youth Development Department of the Apostolic Faith Church embarked on a remarkable endeavor, the production of the movie titled On Time. This cinematic venture brought together youths from various zones within the church, uniting them in a creative and collaborative effort which young participants took on different roles, portraying diverse characters within the film. Through this production, the YDD provided a platform for self-expression, talent development and teamwork while also addressing relevant themes and messages aimed at inspiring and uplifting both the cast and the audience. On Time stands as a testament to the creativity, 
dedication and potential of the youth within the church showcasing their ability to make a meaningful impact through the arts in september and october the apostolic faith church hosted its highly anticipated national camp meeting themed i will do marvels this two-week event drew participants from within the country and beyond, gathering together for a spiritually enriching and empowering experience. The camp meeting was filled with a plethora of thrilling, powerful and spiritual activities designed to edify and inspire attendees. These included Bible studies, youth services, seminars, quiz competitions and a youth music concert. One of the highlights of the event was the premiere of the movie titled On Time, which featured a red carpet affair, adding a touch of glamour and excitement to the occasion. Through the various programs and activities offered during the camp meeting, many souls were touched, transformed and renewed. Attendees experienced spiritual breakthroughs with individuals being saved, sanctified and baptized with the Holy Spirit. Furthermore, the event witnessed a significant number of people making the decision to be baptized in water, symbolizing their commitment to living a life of holiness and faith. Overall, the National Camp Meeting served as a beacon of spiritual revival, unity and empowerment for the youth within the Apostolic Faith Church. In the month of November, the Youth Development Department organized the highly successful Success Park Conference for the youth. This comprehensive conference aimed to equip young individuals with essential skills and knowledge to thrive in various aspects of their lives. The conference featured a range of impactful sessions including course selection guidance, social media branding strategies, career mentoring sessions, CV writing workshops, networking opportunities and information about available scholarship opportunities. Through these diverse sessions, attendees were empowered to make informed decisions about their education, career path and personal branding. They learned valuable techniques in crafting effective resumes and leveraging social media to enhance their professional presence. Additionally, Participants received guidance and mentorship from seasoned professionals in their respective fields. This capacity building events themed and even have served to strengthen the faith and resilience of the young people within the Apostolic Free Church, equipping them with the tools and supports they need to thrive spiritually, personally and academically. As the YDD continues its mission of raising and retaining an army of outstanding young people going to heaven and persuading others to come along, it is committed to providing opportunities for growth, fellowship and service within the church. The camp meeting was filled with a plethora of thrilling, powerful, and spiritual activities. All right, that's fine. Um, we'd invite Brother Isuman to walk us through the camp rules. Okay, um, as we are coming here, we are supposed to actually abide by these uh, rules. So no one um, should say that, oh, I'm here so I can do whatever I, I like. So I'll walk you through, most of them you already know, but for the purposes of reminding ourselves, I'll just take us through some few um, important uh, camp rules for us to take notes. As all of us have come here, we are supposed to register at the information center, provided just in front of overseer's um, office. So if you haven't done so, please, after this service, go and register. It is incumbent on every camper to register at the information center. So please take note. 
and then there shall be no loitering during meetings. And all campers are expected to attend and arrive punctually at all our activities or programs. So if there is a program going on, we don't want to see any of you loitering or standing in any location other than being here. So please take note. Uh, over the years, we have been having this experience that services will be going on and some of you, instead of you to come here, you'll be either in your dormitories or you'll be standing elsewhere and chatting. You are here to pray. You are here to be part of every service, every activity that we do here. So don't let someone to come and inform you that service is going on, so come to this place. And this is what we are going to do this year. When services are uh, in place, or when services are uh, taking place, we will lock all the various dormitories where you sleep. We will lock them up until services are over. So please take note. Don't wait till the organ strikes before you start moving in here. You know the time that we we'll start all our services. So please take note of that. On no account should anybody stay back in the lodging halls during um, our activities. Anyone who is sick should report to the room leader. If there is no room leader, if you are sick, report to your youth leader, your leader you came here with. So please take note. All campers are advised to be security conscious and immediately report any strange occurrences or suspicion of same to the nearest security guard. So if you suspect any security threat or anything you think um, uh, threatens our security, please report. And make sure that you keep your items safe. Keep your phones, your valuables safe. Uh, if you just leave them anyhow, and they get missing, you have yourself, yourself to uh, blame. At light out, there shall be no loitering, discussion, or any gathering. So when we close services in the night, and we are supposed to go to our various places to sleep, please do so. When this service is over, we expect that all of you will move to your dormitories and get ready and then sleep. We don't want to see you uh, loitering about walking around, chatting. Please take notes. Lateness to meetings shall not be tolerated, like I said. So please, ensure that you are here on time for our services. Most of you, you wait till the organ strikes before you start coming to uh, the programs. Lost but found items should be reported at the information center. If you find any lost item, report to the information center or you see the ushers and hand over to them. All campers are enjoined to kindly report their blessing, record their blessings at any of the information desks on the campground. In every service, when you receive a blessing, please make sure you record them. If God blesses you, remember to go and record them. We have provided uh, centers where you can record your blessings. Some are the, uh, this entrance. If you go to the back there, you will find them too over there. So please, when you receive any blessing, whether salvation, sanctification, baptism of the Holy Spirit, healing, re-anointing, any other blessing, please make sure you record them. So these are the few things that are a few rules that we want to um, uh, take note of. There are many, but let's take notes particularly about these ones that have uh, taken us through. So please, uh, I'll end here for the next. But 
that now I am found was blind, but now I see. Was grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my tears. That saved a wretch like me. I was once lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now. I want to congratulate every person who is in this room. I don't think you heard me. I want to congratulate every person who is in this room. Because I know you are coming here will be fruitful. More so when you have chosen a wonderful topic, the valiant Christian. So please, you have not come here in vain. You have come here for a purpose. The purpose is to equip you to be a valiant Christian. Once you enter this room, you are in the presence of God. And I expect no talking whatsoever. Let all your attention be on whatever is going on. And God will use it to bless you. I am not sure you have come here for an excursion. Have you? What have you come here for? To meet Jesus. The triune God has pitched his camp with us here. And Jesus, at the time he was on earth, was so much interested in the young ones like you. That is why he said, we should allow the little children to come to him. So today, 
the youth directorate has made it possible for you to be brought before Jesus. Amen. And once you come before Jesus, you must come with a heart to receive something. Amen. When I examine the topic, the valiance, I try to find the meaning. And it says, possessing or showing courage or determination be brave and heroic. That is the kind of people Jesus needs in his vineyard. You are the youth. You are the vibrant ones. You are the one who are always searching, searching, searching. And that should be your attitude. So as you have come here, promise yourself that you are coming to search for Jesus. Amen. And you must find him before you go. Yeah. If you don't find Jesus before you go, then you are coming here has not borne any fruit. Open your eyes. Open your ears. And more importantly, open your heart to receive and you will certainly receive something Amen. during this period you are going to have three very important teachings you know we are in the Easter season a season where we are celebrating at the same time celebrating the death and resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. My prayer is that all of us who have come will die with Jesus Amen. and resurrect with him Amen. so that we will go back to our various stations, new creatures. Do you know what happened between God and Satan when you were coming? God was saying, I'm taking these young ones to the campground at Aplaku to save them. And Satan was saying, oh, they will come, go and come back the same. Which of these two voices would you listen to? God. Which of these two voices will you listen to? God. God is ready to save you. God is ready to take over your life. And once God takes over your life, he pilots you. Do, do you know a pilot? He sees far. Jesus sees far ahead of your life. So if he is your guide, if you make him your guide from today, not tomorrow. Don't say, I will pray tomorrow. You are going to pray tonight. And commit your life to God. If you really want to enjoy this youth camp, get saved today. Amen. Once you get saved, you enjoy every activity that will take place during this camp meeting. But if you don't, you start complaining. The moment you start complaining, this program is too long. They are preaching so much, then there is something wrong. That's something which will make it wrong. Let us remove it tonight. Yeah. As we come before Jesus. Yeah. If you start very well in a race, I'm sure most of you watch the current uh, athletics race. This Africa 23. People who won were mostly those who started very well. If you will start very well today by saying, Jesus, I've come to youth camp. I want you to save me and take care of my life. I will just briefly take you in a matter of some two minutes through what you are expected to know from this topic, valiance. Why will you be a valiant soldier? Because there is a fight to be fought. Yeah. There is a race to be run. 
there are dangers to meet by the way. The moment you decide to serve God, you have enemies. The arch enemy is Satan. Beyond him, the world around you is an enemy. Apart from that, this flesh is also an enemy because they are not going to heaven. Who wants to go to heaven from here? Show by hand. You have not raised your hand. You don't want to go to heaven. Wake him up. He also he is already dreaming. We have not come here to dream. We have come here to pray. Amen. Amen. So if your desire is to make heaven your home, every item of program, please partake of it. And Jesus will use it to save you. We want to make heaven our home. We want our coming here to be fruitful. Once you become a Christian, you are at the war front. So I want to ask these few questions. As I ask it, please think over it. So that in course of the, uh, this three-day period, you answer them one by one. And if you answer them positively, God will use it to save you. The first question I will ask is, is spiritual welfare a reality? Is it true that when you are a Christian, you are at war? Yes. What is your answer? Yes. Then I said, what does the Bible say about spiritual welfare? Warfare, sorry. What does the Bible say about spiritual warfare? Just give me one quote. That we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So as you take your stand as a Christian, you are going to the war front. And the Bible says you should resist the devil. How are you going to resist the devil? The teachings you are going to receive here, these three days, will equip you to be able to resist the devil. If you keep all those things you are going to learn in your heart, as you are going back, you will say, Thy word have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against thee. You, are, you will be going back with the word of God, which is the sword of the Spirit. And with the sword of the Spirit, you will be moving forward. There are so many other questions, and my prayer is that you will take all these questions answer them so that by the time you go you would have fought and you would have started the wonderful race on this note i wish to welcome all of you to the 2024 youth camp in fact it is international apostolic faith as we are doing same here other countries Apostolic Faith Churches are doing the same. My prayer is that we will take all these things serious and God will use it to bless us. On this note, I wish you a happy come meeting. And I appeal to you, come on the altars, open your heart with God and say, Lord, I want to start with you. God is ready to start with you. The blessings will flow. You will be saved from your life of sin. You will be sanctified if you are already saved. And you will begin the Christian race in all earnest, being a valiant Christian. God richly bless you. Please come to the altars and pray. Wherever you are, come to the altars. Have a word with God. Talk to Jesus. 
Tell him to make you a valiant soldier. Talk to him before you go to sleep. Come to Jesus. The females will be on my left and the males on my right. Females on my left, males on my right. Wherever you are, make sure you go down on your knees and talk to Jesus. Have a word with God. Tell him to make you a valiant soldier. Talk to Jesus. Thank him for traveling mercies. Thank him for the blessings he has showered on you. Thank him for the many blessings he has poured on you tonight. Pray to God. Talk to him. Open your heart.